Hey y'all, so uh, this is my very first Costco haul. Um, I was inspired by Leah Harper. She is not a single mom, but she is a mom of a two or three year old. So a lot of the inspiration here was from hers because I had been wondering what could I get that would be for me and my child. So I was really happy that um, she is now prepping. So you will see a cross between some of these items and items that she has as well. Check her channel out. And so I will walk through these with you. Now, keep in mind, this is um, about a $400, $440 haul at Costco. So, um, and there is a large case of water that's still in my car that I did not bring up yet. So just keep that price point in mind um, as we're going through this. All right, so let's get it started. I got the bath tissue because we all know how that went down the first time. I got two five gallon buckets because um, it's a general theme amongst preppers on YouTube. I've seen, they're like, listen, you can never have too many buckets. I don't have any. So I decided to go to Home Depot today and get pick those up. Um, one was about three sixty, and the other one was about four dollars. I got some tomatoes because I do want to do some canning, and I got some celery because I'm also gonna can that. So those two things will be canned probably tomorrow. Okay, so almond milk because um, that's all we drink. We drink almond milk and we drink um, oat milk. And this is what they had. They also had an organic version, but I mean, in the middle of a shutdown and you can't get anything, I'm not going to be that specific. We got Ritz and we got graham crackers. And it was a, a smart thing that she said, like when you get sick or you feel nauseous, we always reach for crackers. So it's very good that you have some of those. Um, got two types of juices here. This is, what's that? Blackberry lemonade and then organic apple juice. Both of these are organic. Also got some lemonade because I love lemonade. Garlic, the uh, reason why I got that was because it was like $2.99. And I was like, it, I, that doesn't make sense for me to leave here and not take that with me. I got syrup um, because I also got pancake mix, but I'll show you that later. Garlic salt and lemon pepper, um, overall seasoning with no salt and black pepper. I did not get seasoning salt today. Any pink salt because I already got kosher salt. Um, in one of my last hauls, I saw this on her channel, this and this on her channel. So I decided to give these a try. I am probably going to break all of these down into smaller, um, Ziplocs because I don't want to like, how many is that? That's, that's eight. Yes. Yeah, about eight in each. Um, and each serving, we, we're not going to need eight. So we're probably going to need four. So one of these will become two Ziploc bags for the freezer. Same with these. You get two of the casings. And so I'm going to break this down to where now this is two. This is probably going to end up to be four or six. Um, I got some Wagyu beef. Okay. Um, and it says three one-pound packs. And... I also got the chicken meatballs, teriyaki pineapple. I haven't had these, but I've heard really good reviews. I got organic chicken wings. Um, not necessarily gonna be a party when I cook these, but it might, depending on how they taste. And then got some chicken breasts because I also want to can these. I wanna can probably one or two of these, okay? And uh, this was on the expensive side. It was 25 bucks organic all meat has gone up this was 16 um that's all for the price tag now this cheese the first time i tasted this cheese and saw this cheese it was at um a local grocery store for more expensive than what it was at costco this was 5.99 at costco today so i was like oh no i'm about to get this i got some corned beef now i love corned beef hash i just always have and this was expensive, not gonna lie. This was about $22 or so. The reason why is because it's a product of New Zealand. And I learned about New Zealand beef years ago when my grandma was all about it, said it's the best quality beef. So I figured six cans of that 
when nothing else is available, I'm going to be really excited about me having that. Got some coconut oil because I always use coconut oil or olive oil. And the funny thing was I couldn't even find the coconut oil um, display. Like I went down all of the oil aisle and I couldn't find anything. This one was randomly on a different aisle and I had to like run back <laughs> to see if it was still there and it was. So I think I got the last one in the store. Bread, um, Annie's mac and cheese, some honest juices for the little one. I got um, the variety pack of oatmeal, regular Cheerios. They didn't have Honey Nut Cheerios. I was sad about that. Um, I got another instant coffee. If you saw my Target haul, I got a bigger one, which is the same brand. And I also lucked up and got this because I love the vanilla one. Honey, because that's a staple on all channels. They tell you get honey. I got more jelly because my little bit likes jelly sandwiches. Got some tuna. Um, two books. My little one is four. She'll be five next year. And if we have nothing to do, if there's no cartoons, guess what? Um, we're going to be in here learning. So I got these two, and it's a lot of activities in those. Two ibuprofens, one Zycam, you already know, and um, some pancake mix. Which, what did I say? Yeah, that's why I got that syrup. So this was my full, full haul today, guys. Um, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. Um, but I'd rather be prepared than not. And again, I said, um, I got some water, but that's still in the car. So hope this helps other mommies out there and even dads. All right, you guys be good.